hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we are going to see how we can dynamically change the measures in a visual uh, so that we don't have to create multiple visuals and in a single visual we can see everything before we move forward in the video let me tell you that Britain X has an exclusive workshop on power bi and data analytics the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video now let's get back to our topic so now in my screen you can see three visuals right so one is showing the total sales by product subcategory one is showing total cost by product subcategory and the last one is showing the total quantity by product subcategory what if i say that you don't need to create three visuals you can actually show the three measures in a single visual and you can dynamically select which measure you want to see in that particular visual so let me go to page two and here you can see i have a single visual and now i am seeing the total sales as i'll click on total cost i will see total cost by product subcategory and you can see the numbers are also changing and when i click on total quantity the quantity will also change okay and you see here we are seeing the whole numbers if i go to total cost this is dollars so the formatting is also changing so in this video we will see how we can achieve this before we dive into the calculation let me show you the data model that we are going to use for this analysis so let me go to the data model tab and this is the data model that you can see this is the simple star schema so we have a centralized sales table and we have other dimension tables like product customers calendar locations sales team and all and i kept all my measures in the measures table right now let's go to this one okay let me create a new page okay so you have already seen the problem that we are trying to cater right so this is the this is the visual that we have and we are showing three different measures in three different visuals now let me show you the measures as well so if i go to total sales so you can see this is a simple measure that uses some aggregation and this is the total sales similarly total cost is also a some aggregation on the cost amount column from the sales table and total quantity is again a simple sum aggregation over the order quantity column right now here we are going to use something known as parameters before we move on into the topic let me inform you that data analysis and business intelligence has become a crucial part of any industry today and i guess you won't like to lag behind others right well if you want to become irreplaceable in your data analytics career join our three hours power bi and data analysis mastery workshop in which we will not only teach you how to perform top-notch data analysis but will also make you build stunning dashboards so that you can become one of those top one percent of power bi users to snatch some high paying jobs so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic okay so let me go to modeling and here you can see in the modeling tab we have something called as new parameter right so if i click on this drop down i have two options to choose one is numeric range and one is fields okay so i am going to choose fields okay so in this field uh, let me give some uh, name to the met name to the parameter maybe metrics is a good name and let me select which measures i want to select right so from the key measures let me select total sales total cost and total quantity and here it is showing that whether i want to add a slicer to this page or not so yeah let's click it okay so uh, create so this will also add a slicer to this particular page having those three measures so yeah you see we have the three measures right now let me create a simple bar chart or maybe i can just copy this bar chart from here right so let me copy this one and paste it here okay so this is the bar chart but if i click here it is not showing me any dynamic changes right because the measure that we are using here is total sales which is this one but i need to choose uh, the one that i have created dynamically right so i have to go to this particular metric table and if i open the metric table i have this measure called as metrics okay 
so instead of total sales i will drag this here okay so now you can see it is giving me total sales if i click on total cost it will give me total cost if i click on total quantity it will give me total quantity so you see how easily we achieved the dynamic changing of metric on a visual so also i would like to show you the table that we have here so so this is the table that is created okay so this metrics column is used as the uh, slicer uh, values that we see total sales total cost total quantity the metric field is actually the field that we are using and the metrics order is the order of the metrics that we are seeing okay so let's say instead of total sales i want to see the names as just sales right so and here instead of total cost i want to see just cost and instead of total quantity i just want to see quantity okay so if i do that you will see the table will change and if i go to my page so these are also changing right also let's say i want to see cost first sales in the second and quantity in its third position right so how to do that simply if i go here i just have to change this one okay let's say i give the ordinality to 2 so cost will come at the second place sorry cost will i will give one so cost will go to the first place this will come to the second state and this will come to the third state right so i can also give zero one two as well but one two three also works okay doesn't matter so you see cost sales and quantity this order also changed now you may ask but this looks uh, similar to this one not but but not exactly like this one so for that you just need to change the way you are seeing the slicer okay so if i go here and go to slicer setting instead of vertical list i need to convert into tile right so it's converted into tile and i also don't want this header, header metric so i will disable that now i will just make it like this and like this right and also here one of the problem is like i can multi-select as well right so i can multi-select so let's say i don't want that right so i'll just select on one thing and here from the selection i will click on single select so now i can just click on any of the metric and i will see the data accordingly so yeah this is it for the video i hope you get an idea on how to dynamically change uh, metrics in a visual so that you don't have to create multiple visuals uh, or you know use bookmarks or something like that you know just to uh, see different measures in a single visual right this is it for today's video and uh, i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there Thank you.